Welcome back. It's now time for your lunchtime uh, sports and football is where we begin. Uh, 15 local-based players, including young sensation Dijon uh, Whisper Richards, have been included in the Reggae Boys' 25-member squad for the two friendly internationals against uh, Trinidad and Tobago at home on March 11 and 14. Richards of Phoenix Academy is among six newcomers in the 15 local-based players who have been selected. He joins Colin Anderson of Cavalier FC, uh, Fitzroy Cummings of Very United, O'Shane Staple of Harbour View, and Asha Hutchinson of Arnett Gardens, as well as as Alwyn Harvey of Mount Pleasant as first-time call-ups. The squad also includes four new overseas-based players in Tyler Roberts and Dexter Lembikisa of, Wol of Wolverhampton Wanderers, Delano McCoy Paul of Fulham FC and Dante Casanova of Tottenham Hotspur. Chelsea's Omari Hutchinson, who featured in the Friendly International against the Catalonia last year, also makes a return to the squad. The squad also includes experienced players, the defender Adrian Mariapa, as well as midfielder Ravel Morrison of DC United. The other overseas-based players are Jordan Fletcher, who plays for uh, Neroka in India, and Jamali Waite of Pittsburgh Riverhounds. The Reggae Boys will play Trinidad and Tobago on Sunday morning. March 11 at the Cathay Hall Sports Complex in Montego Bay, as well as on Tuesday, March 14 at the National Stadium. And staying on football, Cavalier came from two goals down to draw two all with Mount Pleasant in the feature Monday night match of the Jamaica Premier League and the Anthony Spalding Sports Complex. Top goal scorer Trevante Stewart got things on the way for Mount Pleasant in the fourth minute before Ricardo Morris doubled at the advantage for the Senan based team in the seventh. And it became 2-1 when Ronaldo Webster pulled one back for Cavalier in the 10th. And 30 minutes into the contest, it was 2-all when Dwayne Atkinson netted for Cavalier to complete the comeback and earn a share of the points for the 2021 champions. Mount Pleasant, however, returned to the summit after the result as they moved to 36 points, the same as Arnett Gardens, but with a superior goal difference. Now, earlier, former champions Portmore United notched yet another drawn result as they were held goalless by strugglers at Chapleton Maroons in the early kickoff. The result is Portmore's 10th draw of the season and means they stay 8th in the standings on 22 points, 2 behind Waterhouse. Chapleton remained rooted at the foot of the table with just 7 points. Rhys James and Christian Pulisic could return as Chelsea look to overturn a one-goal deficit in their last 16 tie against the Borussia Dortmund today. Chelsea will, however, have some major absentees as defender Thiago Silva remains injured and midfielder Mason Mount is suspended after being booked in Germany. Dortmund have issues of their own as well as they'll be without forward Karim Adeyemi. The German forward, who scored the winner three weeks ago, has not played since February 19 after picking up a muscle injury. Benfica carry a 2 0 lead into their second leg fixture against Club Bruce in the other match today. Now, UEFA is to refund Liverpool fans who had tickets for the 2022 Champions League final in Paris. It follows a recent independent report that found UEFA bears primary responsibility for the chaotic scenes before the game against Real Madrid. Fans were penned in and sprayed with tear gas outside a Paris Stade de France as kickoff was delayed by 36 minutes. UEFA said the, the uh, refund scheme covers all of the Liverpool FC ticket allocation for the final and that is 19,618 tickets. Liverpool were also part of the process of securing refunds uh, for their fans and as supporters bought tickets uh, from them directly rather than UEFA. The club administer the process, will administer the process. UEFA and French authorities initially blamed ticketless fans uh, for the events outside the stadium. The report, which UEFA commissioned after the May 28 final, said there was no evidence to support the reprehensible claims. And that is it for your lunchtime sports. And I am Jeremy Brown. Kalisha, back to you. Thanks, Jeremy. And that's the midday news. I'm Kalisha Williams. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news, sports, and production teams, good afternoon.